Hello and welcome to blog number four, Me Learning to Play the Harp. This will probably be the last time you see this particular one because I've decided to send it back because uh, it is a bit small for me. Um, I've got it on a 30-day approval so it, it can go back and I can get my money back. I don't really like doing things like that, but uh, to be honest, the quality isn't great. And um, I've actually put a bid on a sharpsicle uh, on eBay, which is um, it's a kind of harp, obviously. It's made by uh, Reese Harps in America, I believe. And the sharpsicle is the same as my friend Frank's harp out in America. And it's got uh, levers on all the C's and the F, so I can play in C major, and I can play in G major and in D major, and the relative minors of those keys as well. So this is still while I'm waiting for my um, big 29 string harp to be made. So we'll see what happens when I get that. My wife Jenny's expressed a bit of interest in playing, so maybe we'll play together. She likes the look of the sharp score. It's a very nice blue colour. So uh, you may be able to see it on my screen there uh, from the eBay ad. You know, it's got about three or four hours to go, so we'll see what happens. And hopefully I can get that and I'll go and pick it up tomorrow because it's about a 40 minute drive from here, not too bad. And if I get that, my next vlog will be on that, providing it's uh, working okay and there's no real problems with it. I did actually say this was a lap harp. That isn't actually true. It's actually called a knee harp because it actually fits. It sits on the knee. Uh, it's a bit too small to be called a lap harp, I think. In my last vlog, I was having a go at the butterfly, and when it got to the next bit, I must admit, I really struggled. And I thought, do you know what, I'm beginning to try and run before I can walk here. So I came up with a really simple idea of doing the famous old tune, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and you're probably groaning when you hear that. Here we go again, you're probably thinking. Uh, but... Hopefully I've done something quite nice with this. And the reason I've done this is to give me just some simple practice at, at uh, plucking with the index fingers of both hands. And I don't know, it might, this might be useful to somebody else who's got one of these baby uh, 12 string harps or a small child is starting to learn. They might find this useful. You know, I'm not a harp teacher by any means. I've only just started playing. So there's a, you know, a bit of a disclaimer before we start there. But, you know... If you think this might help you, then by all means copy it. I'll try and put the music on my website. The big problem was that I wasn't really plucking the strings properly. I was not getting my finger low enough. Obviously the idea is you get your finger really low and it's almost straight and it kind of glances across the string, um, to my understanding, and the thumb is high. So what I did was I just figured out the tune just using the index finger, finger two as it's known on the harp, and whatever string I was playing with my index finger, I was getting purchase on the string, two strings higher than that with my thumb. So if I'm playing C, I've got my thumb on E. Like that. So when I come up here for this uh, G, my thumb is on the B. And when I come up for the A, do you see? The thumb's two strings higher on the C. So that gives me this kind of idea. So it's given me good practice of getting that finger low, still probably not quite low enough, and the thumb probably still not quite high enough, but I'm concentrating on that. And it's actually a very pleasing thing to do to pluck the strings like this. You get a nice snap off the strings. Now obviously that's a bit a bit babyish, a bit thin sounding, but obviously on a 12 string harp you haven't got very many strings to play with in terms of providing an accompaniment. So anyway, this is what I've come up with. Um, so when I play, when I play the, the two C's at the beginning of the tune, obviously I'm in the key of C that the harp is tuned to C major. There's no levers on this harp to change the pitches, so it's tuned to C major. So when I play those two C's at the beginning, I'm echoing with two low G's. And you can see again, my thumb 
with the left hand here is two strings higher than the note I'm playing. I don't know if that's correct or not, but it feels kind of quite good to me. Now when I come up to this note, which is G with the right hand, I'm coming up only two with the left hand, and the note that I'm playing as a kind of a echoing kind of bass line there is a B. When I come up to the A, I'm playing uh, the note C as my bass line. And when I go back, I don't play them separately, I play them together. So let's see what that sounds like up to there, shall we? When I come down, it's very simple. Um, the left hand is playing so two uh, A's there, two G's there, two F's there. And when I get to the end of this run, I play the C tune and a low G together. Let's see if we can piece it together up to there. Now for the second part, I'm running down from the note of G. Do all that again. And that's the matter of playing the first part again. So that's just a nice straightforward exercise and again I can feel that I'm not getting low enough so I've got to work on that and I can also feel this thing sort of wobbling about even though I'm kind of pulling it into my body I suppose I could get a guitar strap for it but to be honest um, the one I'm buying this sharpsicle has got a guitar strap that comes with it and it's got the sharpsicle stick that fits across your lap and it kind of screws into the back of the harp and it keeps the thing far more stable so I'll see how I get on with that and of course in a couple of weeks time all being well I'll have my uh, 29 string floor standing harp so anyway I'm going to end by trying to put all that together and uh, we'll see what it sounds like Bit of a buzz there. That was very amateurish, very poorly played, uh, but hopefully you can see what I'm trying to achieve there. And with a bit more practice, uh, that will be okay. Hopefully, and I'll be I'll be able to move on from that. Uh, so anyway, I'm quite excited at the prospect of getting this sharpsicle. Um, I've been told that they are pretty well made. I've, I've seen lots of them on YouTube, and I've always liked the sound of them. Um, Christy Lynn, who's from South Africa, she plays one, and I like the sound of hers very much. I think hers is a full sickle, which has got a complete set of levers, and I do believe you can uh, add more levers later on if you like. You can Obviously, it's a matter of drilling holes in your lovely harp, so I'm not sure whether I'll do that or not. But anyway, uh, time will tell, so when you see me next, it will either be in a couple of weeks' time with my 29 stringer, or hopefully it will be in a couple of days' time with my 26 string sharpsicle. Anyway, that's the end of this vlog and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.